Hey, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be working on texturing my Blitzcrank model. So far, I've been really enjoying my time in Blender and creating Blitz from League of Legends. Now that I have Blitz UV unwrapped, I'm going to switch over to texture paint mode. I usually begin by blocking in all of the color, shapes, and general textures in Blender. While it's nice to be able to paint directly on the model in Blender, I personally find it kind of challenging to work with Blender's paint tools, but this will be able to help me identify the different sections of the UV map in a program like Photoshop. And so once I'm done blocking in the general color, in Blender, I'll save the texture and switch over to a program like Photoshop. With the texture and the UV map as overlapping layers, I'll then get to work painting the different textures and details I want to include. For texturing Blitzcrank, he wasn't too difficult. For the most part, he's just different shades of yellow. It's nice that in League of Legends, the textures are a hand-painted style, given they are much more refined and polished than what I'm doing. But with that said, I'm not spending a ton of time working on this model and texture. For the most part, I'm just going over and highlighting all of the edges with a lighter shade of yellow and occasionally adding in some scuffs and scratches and some rivets here and there. I was also occasionally looking at a reference image and switching back and forth between Photoshop and Blender to see how the texture is looking on the model. Once I was happy with my work in Photoshop, I then saved the texture and went back to Blender. I then applied the texture to my model and at this point, with any other minor tweaks or further detail I want to add to my texture, I used Blender's quick edit mode. This is a feature that I only recently learned about, but I think it's one of the most powerful features that Blender has when it comes to texturing a model. This essentially allows you to take a snapshot of your model and then paint directly onto the snapshot in a program like Photoshop, which then painted details can then be applied directly back onto your model in Blender. And there's some great tutorials out there on how to set up and use this quick edit feature in Blender. The only real downside to this feature is that you can only paint from one perspective at a time. So any textures that wrap around your model, you'll have to do in multiple passes. And with that, I've now textured my Blitzcrank model and I'm quite pleased with what I've been able to accomplish. Now, if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave them in the comments below and make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can be up to date with all my latest videos. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.